Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be removing a evaporator or condenser coil from a package HVAC unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We're gonna be removing this coil today. It has a break. I need to evaluate that and possibly be replacing it in this video, but that might be left for another. Let's get started. All right, so I was told there was a Dremel 410A by the condenser. This must be it. This is a pretty decent sized unit. Quite a few up here begin to evaluate the situation and see where there's a broken coil all right so i just turned off the disconnect got two compressors here here's a control panel this is a york unit the fan motor also has natural gas let's go furnace here and pipes are going this way so so I gotta take off this cover, see what's going on. There's some kind of break here. Let's start by removing those panels. <laughs> okay, right here. Look at that. There's your break. Oh, that's a bad spot. Yep, it, this is it. All right, so this is the coil. Let's get all these covers off and get the best access here. They will put some screws here, man. That just doesn't make sense. All right. All right, so we got access to both sides. Take off these screws, same on the other end. We should be able to free this coil. All right, so once we loosen up all these, all right, this whole thing is gonna be free. But what I'm a little bit concerned about, there's a couple screws here to ho holding the coil to this bracket. When I pull this coil out, this fan, I don't know if it's gonna be supported. We gotta figure out something to have this in place while I put this out at least temporarily till the new coil comes in all right so before I remove any more screws you see this line is already disconnected follow the next line we've got to cut this pipe it's cut in a place where it's away from all the other joints so we can easily braze either right here or right here my hairs look good to me. So let's cut this out of the way. So when we drop all the screws, you know, this coil doesn't accidentally drop. And now we just break all the piping here. So let's cut this out and then continue. This filter dryer is also gonna need to be replaced. Leave these screws in. I disconnected the other side so when I remove these screws on the edges I could just slide the coil out at least this bracket will stay in place so it can support these motors all right here it is guys this is it this is it. Need this to, 
be supported by this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put those brackets back up after. Let's try to do this as smooth as possible. Let's keep this by me. got some support all right all right okay okay Put back the support for now. It's holding by these legs here. All right. Now, how are we gonna get this off the roof? This is how I came in here. We're definitely not going through there. All right, I'm thinking maybe I can get it down on this roof. So, then we could take it off that edge. Because the other side is a street level and you know, you don't want this thing falling on anybody's head. So, better to do it in the back. So, I think that's gonna be my plan. Rope it down to the other roof, and then rope it down to the ground. And we're gonna need to bring the new coil up the same exact way. This side is really high up. You don't wanna be doing this on the street. That's the best way. All right, so I got some rope. Definitely gonna rope it down here and then rope it down to ground level from that roof. It's much smaller. So now it's time to test out my cowboy skills. Tie this up, rope it down. I can squeeze it through here. So I should be able to like do the same thing on this end. Kind of tie it around luckily this coil is honestly super light it's aluminum tie it around let's just like drop it down Should be good with this. And just like tie a few knots right there. Drop it down. All right. Well, whatever happens, happens. What can I say? I'm a genius, guys. <laughs> Woo! Okay. That's a beautiful thing. All right, everyone. So that's pretty much how I remove the coil. Typically, you would have to hook up your gauges and recover the refrigerant. But of course, with a broken pipe like this, all the refrigerant already leaked out. So then we just disconnected the screws. So the best way that we could take this apart and support it and the way to get it off the roof, we had to rope it off. So that's pretty much that. 
I'm gonna make the installation a separate video as there are quite some processes to do that. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.